guys, it's my first mini vlog, yay! <laughs> I know I said in a previous video, you might not know, but I did. I said I wasn't really interested in mini vlogs, and honestly, I'm still not, but you know, new year, new me, I'm gonna try them out and see how I feel. This girl isn't particularly my favorite midi. There's a lot more that I prefer over her, but she's in new condition and she's a really good price. And I just want to try them out before I invest like hundreds and hundreds of dollars into one. So yeah, I thought it'd be a good option to buy a cheaper midi, try them out. If I like them, then cool. If I don't, then whatever. <laughs> Okay, I think I freed her, so I just need to pull her out. I haven't taken her out yet. I just figured out how to open this thing. Egg is ready. Oh my gosh, I'm kind of nervous. Ta-da! Oh, she's so small. What? I'm actually so surprised. She's so tiny. What? <laughs> Oh, okay, I feel really weird. I didn't think she'd be so small. Sorry, <laughs> I'm trying to do manual focus now because my autofocus is way too noisy. So here's a little close up before we take her out. She's got super red hair, little freckles. She's just got the one eye color, so it's a cute little olive green. I actually really like that color. Her outfit. And she is a jolly, jumbly, pipilota. <laughs> what? Pipilo pipilota? I'm sorry if I'm saying that incorrectly. Yeah, here she is. She's so small. I'm shocked. Okay, I was just about to take her out of the box when I saw this little diagram on the bottom. I don't know how clearly you guys can see it, but apparently if you take out her box, and you fold it like this, it ends up being like a little carry case. It's really cute. So anyway, let's give it out. I already cut the tape. Did I already say that? <laughs> Gosh. She's really small. <laughs> I can't get over that. I did not expect her to be so small. Put this here. And there she is. Her tiny little stand. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm so silly. The little diorama was for her accessory. She comes with a little paper suitcase. I don't know why this is paper. Why can not they make it like leather or some sort of material? <laughs> I just feel like you're paying $100, $200 for a doll. Your accessories shouldn't be paper, right? <laughs> if a $30 Bratz doll has normal good quality accessories, why can't live dolls? Anyway, no more ranting. This is... Oh, the video. She is. She kind of has like a little Raggedy Ann feel to me. I love her little shoes. Let's get closer. Just bear with me as I try to focus. There we go. You can see how bright her hair is. She has a little like stuffed monkey toy. And cute little shoes. Her annoying paper suitcase <laughs> that I'm hating on. I think those are socks at the back. She's got like a little smiley face, which is cute. Little raggedy patchy. Is this a dress? It's sort of like a dress coat. It's got little bloomers. And a green stand to match her eyes. So cute. Okay, I'm going to take it actually out of the box. I'm not going to film it because I know it's going to be a mess. So, back soon. Okay, now I said I was going to come back <laughs> when I finished the box her, but I wanted to ask you guys, when you watch box opening videos, do you like seeing them actually be taken out of the box like this? Because when I watch them, I love seeing the raw footage of the people just taking their doors out, ripping the plastic. <laughs> it's like ASMR. But I know some people... I'm going to skip through all that and just get on the doll. But I want to know what you guys think because I feel like recently I've been cutting out most of the deboxing, deboxing, <laughs> the deboxing stage and all these like plasticky noises. 
I don't know if you guys actually like them, and I'm just doing it because I'm making assumptions. But anyway, please let me know what kind of what style of videos you prefer. Because I really don't know. Everyone's different, and I don't know what the general consensus is. Oh, I don't. I struggle so much with unboxing these girls. So I think that's why I always skip it. Because I feel like if I was watching it, I'd be so impatient with myself. Oh my gosh. And it always looks really rough on camera. Oh, like that. <laughs> but I think I've got her finished out of the box. So, there we go. Okay, let's put her aside. Just another quick glance at her accessories without her in the box. Nothing too exciting. Yeah, should I take her shoes out? I feel like I'm going to take her shoes out because they're so cute, but then I'm looking on the back and how much tape there is. And okay. I think I'm going to leave this in this video and not edit it out because I'll just try something different. <laughs> I feel like this is how I used to do my box opening videos though, right? Like I used to go through all the plastic wrestling and I don't really remember. <laughs> it's been a while since I did a proper box opening video. Okay, sorry. I'm just struggling over here. There we go. Cute little shoes. <gasps> They're so small. They're really squishy. They're like... <laughs> They're like rubber. Oh, I forgot about my focus. Sorry. They're like rubbery. Like you know, um, like Barbie and Polly Pocket shoes. They're not like normal five Neo size shoes, but they're like hard plastic. Oh my gosh, I'm having a lot of fun squishing this. <laughs> okay, let's get to the door. Oh, she's so small. Can you tell how small she is? I can't get over it. Take the plastic out of her hair. Oh, okay. It's in there. Good. Oh my gosh. It looks like I'm pulling her hair out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I swear I'm not being as violent as it probably looks on camera. Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh no. Her hair is horrible. <gasps> Ew. It's that classic Takara dry but greasy crunchy mess. Ew. <laughs> oh, poor thing. But I think I like her better with her hair down. So let's pull the other pigtail out if we can. Yeah. Let's probably put the tape. Oh. Sorry, my brain's not working today. <laughs> so here's the other curl. Okay, I definitely need to wash her hair and I've already like see some loose strands, but that's fine. So here she is. She's got like that sort of bubble head thing going. I mean it's cute but it just looks a bit funny, like she really looks like a bubble bubble head toy. And if you guys don't know, she doesn't have a pull string, she has like a pull up style eye mac so let's get the plastic off her and try this out I really wish she had a pull string I think it would be really cute to have like a little mini pull string but anyway that's not my choice oh okay sorry there's more tape on top of this okay there we go so what you do is you just switch it like this and it will change the direction of her face. So let's try it out. Hey, it works. I don't know how I feel about this. I feel like she kind of loses that blithe quality. I don't like how she doesn't blink. I want to see her little eyelids. Am I missing something? <laughs> 
No, okay, I'm pretty sure that's it. She's so small. You know what? I don't think I mind it. I think I like them more than I thought I would. Just because she's a lot smaller than I thought she'd be. I'm not a fan of the eye mech, though. I wish it was like the classic pull string style. Anyway, let's get her little clothes off and see what her body is like. Change the focus a bit. There we go. This is like a little dress thing. I love her little bloomers, they're so cute. Oh, she doesn't have undies, she really just has her little bloomers. And she's covered in plastic. Okay. The ones off her arms and the ones off her legs. I don't know why I do this all the time, but every time I film a video, I decide it's a good idea to put on hand lotion because my hands get so dry from work and I don't like how it looks so crusty on camera. <laughs> so it makes things like this so difficult. <sighs> okay, we're just going to leave that one on because I'm struggling hardcore. But here she is in his little body. Her legs are bent. Oh, okay. And her arms don't bend. Um, okay, I don't like her body. I thought at least her legs would be similar to the Neo lights where they like click in place. But they don't. They're, it's just, <laughs> it's nothing. There's no wire, there's no like little joint system. They're just, yeah, there's no possibility in this door. So her arms can go up and down, and she can sit, and that's about it, which sucks. <laughs> I don't understand why they did that. Um, I don't know why they couldn't just give her at least bendy knees so she could bend her knees. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I don't know how I feel about spending the same amount of money on a midi rather than a blithe. What's love and Neo's has blood? Some of these girls are about like three to four hundred AUD, so you can buy a full size Neo Blythe for that money. I spent, I think I spent about 150 AUD on this girl, and I'm already feeling like that's too much. Like, her knees don't bend. <laughs> I don't understand that. Like, I don't, I really am confused about why there's such a lack of mobility in these dolls why I mean the head thing is like oh my cute oh look she's like questioning why her knees don't bend oh so cute <laughs> I just don't understand why they're charging such a high price for these and I also thought midi were like an alternative to the neo dolls like a cheaper alternative so somewhere in between the petite and the neo but the prices of these girls are the same as a full-size doll. So I'm kind of confused about what kind of market they're trying to target with these. Maybe they're trying to market it to a younger audience, but I think the younger audience, I mean, like, Barbies and Bratz have so much possibility these days. These bodies don't compete at all. And I mean, she's cute, she's a blithe, but I don't know. I'm not really impressed. But I do like her more than I thought I would. I'll give her hair a wash and dress her up. I took her shoes out and I didn't even show you guys what it looked like. What? Wait. What? What? I'm trying not to be mad. Like, just as I was complaining, look at these shoes. They're huge. They're too big for her. It's her foot and that's the shoe. Is this like a buy a midi and get Neo size shoe? Wait, I reckon this could fit a Neo doll. Look. <laughs> the other one fell off because it's too big. Look at that. 
<laughs> I don't understand. Like this shoe came with this doll from Takara, so why doesn't this shoe fit this doll? But guys, I, just, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Are they being serious? It doesn't fit. Okay, maybe. I'm gonna take your socks out. Maybe you're supposed to wear it with the socks. But that kind of annoys me because what if I don't want her to wear it with the socks? And why are the socks so thick that they need to make the shoes so big? I'm just, I'm having a lot of problems with this, to be honest. And I think you guys can tell. This video is, uh, I feel like this is me complaining in this whole video. So let's try and get these socks out. I just understand. Like, um, it's things like this that make me hesitant to buy new releases. Okay. I'm sorry. It's so out of focus, but here's her little stripy socks, so they're mismatched, which is cute. I like that. That's fun. Let's take her shoe off. Mm, I'm going to put a brown one on. Let's just put one on for now and see if this makes a difference. So here's her little sock on. Okay, we probably will fit better. <sighs> so if it's better, but it's still too big, like, it just, it's just obviously too big for her, and it looks a bit ridiculous. It will definitely not fall off with the sock on. It's got more grip, and it does take up more space, the sock, I mean. But this means every time you want her to wear this shoe, she has to wear socks. What if I don't want her to wear socks? Oh. And it's like, I'm flicking off again. I just don't understand this. Like, it's just so really hard to make things that fit the doll that you make. I understand when you buy shoes from independent sellers who... Yeah, sometimes the shoe fits a bit big or a bit small, and it's because they have like one size fits various dolls. But this is literally for this doll. Like, <laughs> if it comes with a doll, it should fit her, right? So I'm just, I'm struggling. But anyway, I don't even know what to say. She is cuter than I expected. I still. Um, I'm so conflicted because I just don't, I can't justify the amount of money that these girls go for, for what you get. I would just rather have a neo-sized doll. But she's cute. Yeah, okay guys, I'm done. <laughs> The longer I keep going, the more I'm going to complain, so I'm just going to stop. I'm sorry, this hasn't been, like, a super positive, happy video, but, yeah, here she is. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. I have nothing else to say. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching. Hi again. So, it's been a few days since I unboxed this girl, and I just have some updates that I want to add. Firstly is that I think I figured out her shoes, so you can see they're fitting a lot better on her feet. They're not falling off like they were in the unboxing video. I just shoved her foot in as far as I could into the shoe. So I think that was the trick to it. But if you turn it to the side, you can see they're still way too big. Like, look at that. <laughs> Even with her socks on, it doesn't fill in that gap. I don't really understand it. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. So if she wears socks and stockings, it's not too tight. I don't really get it. Maybe it's part of her style, but um, yeah, not a huge fan, but it does fit better. So I take back some 
Oh my complaining only some because they're still way too big and it just looks awkward to me like they don't they don't look right but anyway they're fine from the front and they fit the second thing is oh she's looking like a mess uh the second thing is this little monkey toy i know i said it was a stuffed animal stuffed toy in my unboxing video but it's actually a headband so it goes around her head and the little monkey sits on top like a little pet which is really cute, it's really sweet, um, yeah, nice little detail that I didn't notice. The other thing is, you guys might have seen that I put her socks back in the packaging. I'm going to put her shoes back as well, put her back in her little dress, because I've decided to donate this girl. So I'm sure you guys have heard about what's going on in Australia with the bushfires. It's been really crazy and heartbreaking um i'm not gonna go too much into it but one of the ladies in the Blythe australia group has decided to run a fundraiser the proceeds are going to go to a company called blaze aid and they run off volunteers who help rebuild communities so i thought that was great um a lot of the donations and support has been towards the wildlife i'm not saying that we don't need it because that's the most heartbreaking part to me honestly but I think it's nice for some of the money to go to the communities and the people who have lost so much a lot of the farmers have lost their livelihoods because of these fires so yeah all the money for the fundraiser will go towards that I don't know if you guys can hear it <laughs> there's a storm coming in right now so there might be a lot of wind and thunder in the background Honestly, Australia's has been crazy right now. And even though the storms and rain is providing some relief to the fires, it's like <laughs> the flooding is threatening our water supply. It's, you know, contaminating it. And at the same time, the lightning is just threatening to cause more fires. Ah, so, yeah, that's that. Let's not talk too much about that. I'll leave... The link to the Black Australia group down below. There'll be some details about the fundraiser soon. Um, I think they're still collecting donations, so I don't know when the fundraiser will actually start. But if you're Australian, make sure you join that group and you know stay updated because for five dollars you can win this girl. Yeah, the tickets are five dollars. I don't know if I said that, but there you go. If you're not in Australia and you would like to donate, I'll leave some links down below as well. I'll only link verified and official companies so you know I don't like guys getting scammed but that's that yeah so make sure you buy a ticket if you want the chance to win this girl and thanks for all your support and your love bye